All right, guys, I am back, and this is the next one in the series for the um, uh, most viewed videos um, ever, and it um, was like week two of like the very first year, week two, episode one, um, or maybe it was two, I can't remember. Anyways, um, I have it written down somewhere, but do you think I thought to bring it along with me? Absolutely not. All right, so it's this cute little pocket here. Um, and let's see. So there is a pocket here, a pocket here, and you can either make it a top pocket or a side pocket, which, um, I've already clipped these to be a side pocket. So that's what we'll do for this one. Um, so yeah, uh, I hope you guys are all doing well. I have not recorded a video in like a week and a half and it feels so funny. Um, so yeah, um, excuse my fingers cause I, got over 200 pages of um yummy coffee dye done um so we can put these journals together because I think I decided that they're going to have three signatures each and they're going to be 20 pages in each signature so very large journals um yeah so um yeah I guess you guys are seeing this Monday so I will just say a happy Monday so my pockets I am using um scraps from our project um, and it's about three and a quarter inches wide by three and a quarter inches tall. And then these are two and three quarters by three and three quarters. And then this one is about an inch and three quarters and three and three quarter inch tall. Um, doesn't really matter. You can make them bigger, smaller, whatever. Um, this is a excellent scrap busting pocket. Like I said, it can be even smaller. Um, so yeah, uh, yeah, that's, that is, that is it right there in a nutshell. Um, so I just stack the three of them together and depending on if you have, um, finger issues, um, or like arth arthritis, you may not be able to do this. Oh, and it looks like that one's a little short, but I'm not going to worry about it because again, this is an Alice journal. So, and then this morning, because it's Sunday when I'm recording this. So this morning I went through and I backed all the kits um, that we're using. Um, and when I mean backed is I took one of my tea and coffee stained papers and I backed them all out. Now I just got to cut them down, um, which I'll do that here in a little bit. And then I'll put the signatures together. And then I think as far as the series goes, there'll probably be, definitely there's going to be one more pocket thing. Cause I want to do a, um, cause I don't think I've ever done it before. Um, there's going to be a pocket, um, like the kit pockets that come in that, um, in the, uh, uh, oh gosh, why can't I think of it? In the, um, um, my porch prints kit, uh, there's a pocket in there. So I thought we would put it together. And then in the same video, I think we will put together a, um, envelope style type pocket um, um, that I'm just going to kind of build up and it'll be like kind of like a page insert and then I think the next pocket that I record will be next Monday's um, most viewed video and that will also be an Alice pocket and I believe that puts us at 18 pockets not including the front um, pockets like the uh, inside cover pockets. So yeah, um, we're close guys, we're close. And then I I don't know how much um, filming of the uh, put together I'll do. Um, we might do some glue-ins and then um, of course I like to make clusters and stuff to decorate pages, um, that sort of thing. So that is probably, probably gonna happen too. I don't know. Um, just have to see how how time permits. Um, I'm super actually excited. Well, and Christian's been gone for eight days now. It'll be nine before he even gets close to being um, able to come home to Colorado. So 
it's been a pretty difficult week on your girl here. I'm missing him terribly. Thank goodness for all this technology, right? Like, I get to talk to him via, um, FaceTime in the evenings, um, when I'm not working. And, um, so yeah, I mean, right? How cool is that? Like, I, I'm not gonna lie. This technology thing is pretty cool sometimes. Um, and I did list all those things. And so I had a comment from a ZA. I don't know your actual name. So I apologize that I said ladies and I wasn't all encompassing because apparently you are a gentleman, maybe? I'm not sure. So, and I oh, usually am pretty cognizant of not, um, not being, being exclusionary. Um, so I apologize. Um, that's, like I said, it's not generally something I do and I certainly didn't do it on purpose. Um, so yeah, um, usually speaking, I've had all ladies in the comments. So, and when I look at my, um, like audience, I think it shows me that I have like two or three male subscribers. Um, and it doesn't really show me anything else. So if there's like different pronouns or, or whatever the case may be, um, it doesn't show me that I'm kind of limited to whatever, whatever you tell YouTube you are is what I get to see as far as, I mean, I don't get to see you as, as a subscriber specifically. I have to go in, in a different manner to that. But that said, um, yeah, I do apologize. So, um, yeah. So welcome. I, you probably have been a subscriber for a while and it was the first um, time that you had commented. So I appreciate that. Please feel free to uh, comment more if you'd like. Um, it's pretty exciting for me to know that I might have male viewers that like actually like really, really watch and they're not just like my dad or my boyfriend or my son, right? So that's pretty cool for me. So yeah. Anywho, I'll stop rambling and I'll just start like crafting and yeah. I had such a beautiful day at work on Friday. I got to do one of the things I love the most, and most of you can probably already tell exactly what my favorite thing in the world to do is teaching. Um, I probably should have been a teacher, I mean, in all honesty. Um, it is definitely something that I enjoy doing, obviously. Um, but this adorable girl just started. She's an intern. She goes to one of the local colleges here. Um, Oh my goodness, I had the best time with her. She like she's a quick learner. Um I'm I'm training her on basic things because she's um studying to be an engineer and she's gonna be working in our R and D lab. And um those of you that have been with me for a while know that um I spent a good deal of time in the R and D lab that used to be like across town from where we are now. Um and so yeah. I had the best time teaching her and it is so refreshing to like teach young kids, like young adults, I should say, like their enthusiasm is just, oh, I'm going to tear up thinking about it. Just like, I, aren't kids like the best? Like they just love to learn, right? They're so eager. Oh my gosh. I, I just had the best time. And, um, she is such a delight. And um, yeah, so we have validations going. I think I might have mentioned that last time I recorded. Um, oh, and look at that. That one's off a little bit too. So I'm going to take it down as well. Um, so yeah, we have to validate machines and parts. So yeah, it's that's a fascinating process. And she loved every minute of the training on Friday. And... So yeah, I'm pretty excited. I think she's really going to like the engineering part of what she's going to be doing. And I'm a firm believer at my job, like, if you know what others are doing and why their job is important, it, it does a couple of things. It gives you more patience when things aren't happening right when you think they should be. And also, the more you understand what you're doing... Um, the better you can do your job. Like if you understand the molding process, then you're going to understand the problems that are, are, are happening, right? Like, um, I know for me, um, it's helped because knowing the molding process, 
I'm able to see the flash and things like that more easily, I guess. All right, so now that I rambled, I'm gonna have to like start a new video and ramble all over again, but you guys don't get to hear the rest of the story until like a week from now. So, ha ha ha, just kidding. Um, so yeah, that's how quick and simple it is to make these. And like I said, um, scraps are ideal for this po this pocket. Like you use your scraps with it because it's, and um, I actually um, did a quick book pocket that's relatively the same. And, you know, like I said, you don't even have to have it in this direction. I mean, you could set it up this direction, this direction. I mean, it's the possibilities are definitely there for different, different ways of doing it. So I know normally I've been kind of decorating at least one. Um, I actually have an idea of what I want to do. So I'm not going to do that with this one. Um, because it's going to require some ribbon and I kind of want to take you guys through it when we put the stuff together. So Anyway, I hope that you are having a fabulous Monday and um, yeah, you guys have a stellar week and I will just talk to you in the next videos. Bye guys.